mentioned Jared Josh, I mean, when you just watched the film of the second half, I guess what, what kind of stood out to you Saturday? Um, I mean, just as I said after the game, Arkansas you know, they did a great job of holding time in possession, so it came down to us you know, making the most ball the we had in the second half. You know, they did a great job of getting stops when needed, so um, we, we have the ball in those situations, we have a better job of making plays and uh, making the most of those opportunities. Jalen, just how do you guys cut down the big plays on defense? Do you guys have a five or six on Saturday? Uh, better eye um, You know, most of the big plays we gave up is things we worked on in practice. But um, just putting our eyes in the right spot and, and um, taking what, what we practice and taking it over to the game is a big thing. Jalen, just what do you see from Nick Chubb? Like, what does he do so well, and uh, what do you guys have to do to like slow his uh, number, his production down? Um, you no, know, we're playing the SEC, so we see good, good running backs every week. Um, you know, when it's not going to be done extraordinary, we're just going to keep, keep working, keep, keep having the same mentality we've been having, um, and just be a great tackling defense. It's kind of hurting us right now, and you know, if we do those things and keep working how we've been working with guys. Josh, it looked like you guys didn't use the option much Saturday. It was such an integral part of your game against Florida. Why didn't you use it more than that against Arkansas? Uh, I mean, you guys have asked me similar questions before. I've already the same answer. I mean, all of our run plays have different built-in reads, different built-in options in them. So, um, and each defense is different. So you can't run the same plays you ran against Florida against Arkansas because they were two different teams. So it all depends on game plan and it all depends on um, the looks we're getting on the field. Josh, would you talk about Georgia's defense overall and their linebackers in particular? I mean, Georgia's defense is a good SEC defense as expected. I mean, we can week out, you can play good defenses. So um, we've got our A game. Um, we have to have a great group of preparation this week and understand the game plan, understand the schemes, understand uh, what their defensive philosophy is in order to be successful. And their linebackers? I mean, they, I, feel, I feel like they're good front to back. I mean, they're, they're good up front. Obviously, they have experienced linebackers and experienced secondary. So um, we have to come ready to play on Saturday. Just for Joshua, just how do you feel about where the passing game is now based off Saturday's game and where do you all still need to improve in that regard? Uh, I mean, everything, you know, it, it is a work in progress, really. Um, they continues to grow. We did some good things, but at the end of the day, we didn't make the plays um, we needed to when they were there. So um, we're still progressing, and we'll have a great week of practice this week. Josh, they always talk about turning the page. Put the last game behind you, turn the page to the next game. How difficult is that for this team because of the disappointment you've had? Snap and crib mentality. Um, I mean, we're a mentally tough team. Uh, we, we know um, our capabilities and, and the talents we have on offense, defense, and special teams. And we know that we can make plays. We just have to beat up and have to execute. So I wouldn't say it's difficult to, to turn the page because if you don't turn the page, and we have another team, good team coming in here this Saturday. and. They don't really care what happened last weekend, so they're coming to win. So we have to turn the place back into the last weekend uh, and come in the playoffs right away. Daniel George is a team that likes to run a lot of play action. Talk about that challenge that that presents. Yeah, Arkansas did yeah, yeah, a lot of that too. Um, like I said at the beginning, just having a great high discipline and the green keys. Um, you know, knowing the different looks, knowing when play action will come, it's going to be the key to that. But, uh, now, like I said, if we keep preparing the way we've been preparing and everyone's staying focused, we'll, we'll be ready to go Saturday and be prepared for that. Uh, Jalen, two weeks ago you faced Jake McGee, last week under Henry, this week, you know, you got Jackson Harris, Jeff Blasevich. How are you guys defending the tight end? Are you getting better from facing these tight talents week to week? And how do you throw this week against Paris? Yeah, um, well, like in our number one, we don't, you know, we don't really care who winds up at the, at the position. Um, it's the SEC, like I said, it's, it's going to be a good player. It's the best conference in the country. If you don't play against good players of the league. So, I mean, you, you, can't, you can't have anyone, you know, changing your mentality of how you're going to play defense. You got to come out and play defense the same way every week. So we're going to keep preparing like we've been preparing for every, like, like just any other
player to see that we played. Jalen, yeah. yeah, what have you seen from Shy and Khalil up front and how much they've kind of progressed these last couple weeks? Yeah, it's been big. Um, you know, especially seeing Shy from the spring until now, um, you know, he's he's starting to develop into you know the type of player we want in the program. Um, he's playing hard, he's giving great effort, and they're both just progressing. Um, Khalil played a lot this week. Um, you know, the Arts all a bigger guy than this type of game. You know, they'll, they'll both be great players, so they just gotta keep developing, keep working. You know, everybody will like the outcome of the game. <laughs> Jalen, last year y'all were under 500 midway point in the season, surged late and were able to get into a bowl game. How much are y'all talking about, or is that being discussed at all, the fact you were able to kind of turn things around last season? Is that something y'all are using as you try to bounce back this year or not? Um, I mean, I would refer to, reference it just because um, we know what it feels like to be in this position. That's how we know what it feels like to be in this position. And, um, you know, it's, it's Team 119. Team 119 hasn't, hasn't done anything yet. So, um, you know, just, just keep keep everyone focused, keep stay grinding. Like I said, no one's gonna give up, no one's gonna quit. You know, so it's gonna be fun to see how the season ends out, uh, how the season turns out. And, you know, there's a lot of people doubting us right now. You know, we gotta see guys in our room, depending on each other, and you know, we'll, we'll finish strong. I guess this is for both of you guys as leaders, I guess you gotta touch on it now, but how do you keep this team motivated and focused and after the loss? I mean, you guys, this isn't the kind of start of the season you guys didn't want, but how you kind of keep this team focused and come to prepare for you? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll never lose motivation. We'll never lose focus. Um, it might look like that from the outside, but you know, internally, we, we got a strong group of guys. Uh, we don't we don't let these past games affect us. Um, you know, the Oklahoma game has a came back, or the 40 game has a came back to, to bite us. It's, it's, each game is a new game. And, uh, you know, it's not like we, we're looking back on the past like bad things gonna happen. That, that's not how we operate. We all got faith in each other, we got trust in each other, we love each other, and we're going to keep grinding, and we're going to end up having a great season. Thank you.